I passionately believe the international community has to do more to stop the horrors of child marriage. It is sickening and has no place in the civilised world. This crime threatens societies and hinders integration. It results in a loss of childhood, a loss of opportunities for education, employment and in some cases a life of social isolation. The latest figures from UNICEF show 650 million women worldwide are believed to have entered into child marriage. As a child, more than one in three of these child brides were married before they turned 15. We now need to tackle this grotesque crime across the world, irrespective of race, religion or ethnic origin. I recall one terrible case involving an Ethiopian woman forced into marriage at the age of 11, now with several small children, despairing at her life to the point where she sees no point in carrying on. Only her children have kept her going. Her fate is to keep having children until she has a son. Make no mistake, this is horrific violation of human rights and it takes place in our country. Current statistics underestimate the true scale of what is going on. We are only aware of cases reported. Even then, there are inconsistencies. Despite the fact that forced marriage has been a criminal offence since 2014, the forced marriage unit in the UK records 1,145 cases involving female victims in 2016, 220 of which were under 15. In comparison to these cases, reported the latest figures from the Crown Prosecution Service showed only 53 convictions in 2015, 32 of which were successful. So why are there so few prosecutions? Aspects of the system are letting victims down. One campaigner, Josevinda Sagira of Karma Nirvana, a human rights charity, stated that in 2005 the Labour Party impeded forced marriage from becoming a criminal offence. One reason was fear of offending communities. Whilst child marriage is slowly declining, it still exists. A full and frank discussion is needed on these shocking examples. And remember, there are many, many more. It has to stop.